Maker's Mercy, 500 subs? Raiders, like, what? I'm an R. Like, like, thank you. My videos aren't amazing, they're literally just me expressing myself. It's just... Wow, you Raiders actually care about what I have to say and watch my silly parodies too. I know, I know, it's just a number, and I do this for fun, but it means a lot to me. Thank you. So, when I reached 250 subs, I made a video recommending a RPG Maker game that deserved more love, and I want to do something similar. This time, I want to recommend, arguably, in my opinion, one of the best puzzle games ever, which deserves more love. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of love, because the quality of the game is so good, and the price is so decent, why aren't more people talking about it? How did it get under the radar? What is the game I'm talking about? The Spiral Scouts. Before I talk about it, I do need to explain some stuff first. Number one, this is an adult puzzle game. Not in a porn way, but the writing is for adults. Yes, the art looks hella cute and looks like a game for kids, but it is not. It is a dirty game. Number two, like with my 250 sub special, I will not spoil a thing from this game. For real, it's best to play Spiral Scouts known as little as possible. So, I will only be using the trailer for footage in this video. This worthless fanboy will try his best to sell the game without spoilers. If you value my worthless opinion, go ahead and buy the game. The link is in the description. With that said, let's go. Where do I start? Hmm, I know, what's the story about? You play as Remain, the newbie Spiral Scout who's on a mission to collect badges to save the day. Yeah, I know, it sounds pretty standard, but hey, I kind of like this concept. It's simple, but the game knows it is, and wears it like a badge! Ha! The thing is though, I think it's very cute. Plus, it's a neat way to keep track of what puzzles you've done in each realm. You know, it's not about the destination, but the journey. So, let's talk about the characters and the world building in the game. So like, oh my god, like honestly, Spiral Scouts has one of the best worlds I've experienced. That's because even though it has a fantasy theme to it, it feels like a real place. It's all connected beautifully. Plus, there are so many little details that add so much personality to the realms. It's not an empty world with nothing to do with most AAA games, but it feels like people are doing shit. Yes, you play as a newbie, but guess what? There are other characters doing their own poop too. You don't matter to them. The world keeps moving on without you. That's dope. We need more worlds like that. I don't want to be center of attention. Speaking of the characters, when they talk to each other, they sound like they know each other. Like they're actually friends. Or how about a couple in the game that actually sound like a couple? It makes the game so much more charming. Like, let's pretend instead it was just characters info dumping the player, cause Remain is a fish out of water character. That would be boring cause it has been done so many times. Instead, we get blessed with fun and engaging dialogue. As the player, you start to care. You learn more about the characters and the world with very little. My point is, the Spiral Scouts has a great pre-established world, the devs cared, and they worked hard on it. The game reminds me of Grim Frandango. That's a compliment because I think that game is the best when it comes to making a pre-established world. For a game as small as Spiral Scouts to make me think of Grim Frandango, that's fucking special. For real, these devs need to make more games together. Moving on, the Spiral Scouts is a puzzle game. So, how good are the puzzles? They are fucking good! Let me be upfront and honest. I am not a puzzle person. I'm dumb and I'm awful at them. Whenever I play the OG Silent Hills, I put the puzzle difficulty to easy! I am awful at puzzles. Yet, the puzzles in Spiral Scouts are so well crafted that even I managed to successfully figure most of them out with time. The game never rushes you to solve a puzzle. It gives you the information you need and then it's up to you to solve it. And once you do, it feels satisfying. Like I said, I can't spoil anything, meaning I won't use one puzzle as an example because all the puzzles are good and I don't want to ruin any of them. Trust me, they're great. They're not repetitive. None of them made me feel like they were cheap or unfair, and even though I did need to use a guide for a few of them, once I understood the answer, it connected, and I went, oh, that's how you solve it. In my opinion, that's how you make a good puzzle. It doesn't hold your hand, 
gives you the information you only need, it's not bullshit or cheap, and it never rushes you. Now, being a little petty femboy, one puzzle for me was a bit hard, and I wish the game gave more information, but that's not the puzzle being bad. No, the puzzle was actually amazing. One of the best ones, to be honest. It's more like I was just dumb, and you know, I just wished a little more help was given. Raiders, if you do end up playing, give these puzzles a good try, spend time with them, and if you're really, really struggling, and you feel like you don't know, then look at a guide. There's nothing wrong with help, just make sure you give a nice spanking attempt first. Now, one of the factors that really make this game amazing for me is the humour. This game is funny as fuck. It's dirty, horny, filthy, and I love every bit of it. And that's because it's adult humour. Lots of games, hell, mediums in general, don't want to make something exclusive for adults. In terms of sales, if most audience can play it, that's good, because more potential sales. But, if you make something only for adults, you're chopping off potential sales, not of Spiral Scouts. The devs wanted to make an adult puzzle game, and it's so refreshing to play a game that's targeted towards adults. It doesn't hold back. Bless these devs. The humour makes me laugh out loud so many times. It doesn't treat you like an idiot. Plus, the humour, it goes beyond just the writing. This is the only joke I will share because it's very obvious. Notice how the art and soundtrack is cute and adorable and soft, yet the kicker is the game is dirty as fuck. It's an irony. It adds to the humour. Hell, I bet it even fooled people who didn't bother learning more about the game, who thought this was a cute game, then they got surprised by it. For real, Spiral Scouts is such a funny game. Speaking of the art and the soundtrack, both are excellent. The art is cute, soft, adorable. It feels like it belongs in a children's cartoon, which is ironic because of how dirty it is. But guilty as charged, I do love it. I'm a softie, okay? The game looks really fucking cute. Oh, we need more cute looking games. Oh baby, the soundtrack is so good. The music fits so well with the art and the world. If like the music was made from the game's world, this is what it would sound like. Mwah. Perfect. Overall, the game is brilliant. Every element of this game was cared for. The devs clearly had a vision. They knew what they wanted to do. Motherfucker cheese, they smashed it. That makes me very happy when a project full of love is made. You can tell that the devs had so much fun making this game. You too can have fun. I highly, highly recommend this game. And that has been a worthless femboy's attempt to recommend a game without spoiling a thing. Because playing this game blind is the best way to experience it. So, uh, you know, I hope I did a good job. The Spiral Scouts is a great game that went under the radar. Maybe, just maybe, I will make a full-on passion project video about it. Because it definitely deserves it. I love the game so much, I even cosplayed two of the characters. I even gifted the game to my bestie, and we played it together, and we fell in love with it. Hell, part of the commission fee for Kuma making the avatar for the thumbnail of this video was gifting the game to them. That's how much I love the game, I want more people playing it. In the description will be all the links to support the game and the devs. Please, show them some love. To my knowledge, one of the devs are working on Fiends of God, that was kickstarted. And the trash that I am, I missed it. I keep missing kickstarters that I would love to kickstart. But I will buy it when it comes out. Definitely. So yeah, I just want to say again, thank you for 500 subs. I make videos for fun, and it means so much to me that you raiders like my content so much, you want to sub to the channel. Thank you. I guess the next goal will be 750 or maybe a thousand? I don't know. I will try to think of something special to do if we do reach those numbers. Not just promoting a game. Maybe a Q&A? I don't know. I don't know. Moving on. This video isn't over yet. A massive love and shout out to Kuma for being amazing as always. They worked on the avatar for the thumbnail of this video, and it's adorable. They made the avatar for the 250 sub video, and it was only right they came back to make the avatar for this one. I adore their work so much. 
and I'm so grateful that they're willing to make art for me. This is an order. Support Kuma now. Heads up, they make the naughty stuff, so you have been warned. Their links are in the description. Go, go, go! Support them now! Oh my God.